play the young center in, in this type of environment and for our young uh, freshmen to be able to get up uh, against a top five program. Uh, we're, we're disappointed with the results and outcome, but we are um, feeling like that we can walk away from this game with uh, some things that we can build on moving forward heading into the rest of our season. Coach, it seemed like, you know, for the first three quarters, you were, you were right there, and, you know, almost on the cusp of, of getting back into the game. What really was the difference there late uh, that allowed Louisville to pull away late in the third quarter and into the first part of the fourth? Well, I think uh, the big thing there is they're, they're, their defense is very relentless, and so it kind of just wears you down. And, and you can handle it for a while, you can handle it for a while, and then eventually uh, you kind of get wore down, and they find some chinks in the armor, and they find a way to take advantage of that. And I thought, um, you know, for our team to have 23 turnovers, it's not characteristic of our team. And um, it's something that you know we feel like we've got to find a way to, to get better at, but it's also a credit to the type of defense that we saw tonight. Coach, just some of your impressions on Asia Dor. She's special. Um, it's clear, I mean, I've watched her play a lot just over the years um, in her career, but when I really took a hard look just um, as we were scouting and preparing for this particular game. I think she's just a very special player. She makes big plays every time they need big plays. She makes difficult shots. She makes easy shots. Um, she can come at you in a lot of different ways, but I think the thing, in my opinion, that makes her just um, that much more special than most superstars or super scorers is that uh, she's willing to play on both ends of the floor. She's, she's gonna get after it. She brings energy. Um, all the time and not just when the ball's in her hands. They lost their second best player from last year in Hines Allen. How do you think they've adjusted since then? What's the difference in them? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the thing that's uh, difficult for that question for me is that, you know, we didn't play them a year ago. We didn't scout them a year ago. We didn't really uh, break down kind of the top to bottom you know, rosters and players, you know, from one year ago. So it's really tough for me other than just what I saw watching that team play in the Final Four. And obviously I have some ties with this coaching staff and uh, we have really um, – uh, warm uh, feelings towards this program and this uh, this staff, so we're always kind of pulling for them. But um, other than uh, that, I, I don't know the ins and outs about one year ago, but I will say that I think that uh, they're doing a just a fantastic job with this team of having their upperclassmen really kind of lead the way and then being able to kind of fill in with, um, with the underclassmen and new kids that really know what the expectations are in this program. What was it like, given the connection you have with uh, with Jeff, uh, when you found out that you drew them in the uh, in the challenge? Yeah, I mean, to be quite honest with you, I really wasn't thinking about my connection with Jeff or even, um, you know, Sam Purcell and I worked together on the same coaching staff at Tulsa. My husband was uh, in his wedding and, and, you know, so it's a couple ties to uh, those those guys on that staff. I wasn't thinking about that as much as I was thinking about uh, what that was going to mean for our team and already starting to think of press breakers and, and things that we could do to try to attack uh, what they do. Was it nice being able to see Paul, though? Um, uh, after the after the game, I see Coach Stanford sitting back there right now, and just uh, absolutely special for me just to have my college basketball coach um, here. Um, I learned so much from him and um, took so many of the drills that we ran that, that one year that I got to play for him that we still are doing in practice on a daily basis. And so um, just really special for me to be able to kind of reconnect with, with Paul and Jeff and um, just a, a neat experience. Coach, you were having quite a bit of success with the backdoor cut on Louisville throughout the game. What did you see in their defense that allowed you all to do that? Well, I um, mean, they're very aggressive. They're very aggressive. They get up and play. They uh, hedge hard screens. They um, play pressure defense. And we thought that, um, you know, if we could maybe uh, early look to attack some backdoor cuts and, to, you know, get some looks that it may uh, make them a little more cautious to get out and play so much pressure. And, and so that was something we wanted to try to do early in the game. I thought we had some success early, and I thought they adjusted pretty nicely after that. You had a very tough uh, start of the season playing three ranked teams uh, in the first six games. What do you think this will do uh, for your team as you get ready for the Big Ten play? 
Well, I mean, we're really hopeful that this is going to prepare us for what's to come and, and so that nothing is going to shock us. And uh, that's what the, the whole plan was. I mean, you hope that your players don't get kind of down in the dumps and l losing confidence while you're kind of trudging through that uh, rigorous schedule. But I think, um, you know, we had a unique experience with a, a close scrimmage to start this season with the very team that knocked us out of the NCAA tournament one year ago. And so it's just a, a really good measuring stick for us a, a tough challenge that was Arizona State and then all of a sudden you bounce that back and have three ranked opponents in your first six games and for uh, the 45 percent of our roster that's new this year that was probably kind of like hitting uh, getting hit by a Mack truck uh, but certainly uh, something that we feel like if we use that in the right uh, in the right way moving forward that it can really help prepare us for Big Ten play and what our ultimate goal is at the end of the season. Anything else, Coach Wayne? Thank you.